Grubhub. Click, click, food. As if there weren't enough food delivery services in New York City, ride-hailing service Uber is moving in on Grubhub, Seamless, and Instacart's territory with food delivery in the Big Apple. Uber Eats. From tap to table in minutes. Ten minutes, to be exact. At least that's what Uber is promising. In a city with 8.4 million people and notoriously busy streets, Uber says it will get you your food in that amount of time or less. Now, before you discount Uber's claim, some caveats. For one, Uber has done this before, in the one American city where traffic is even worse, Los Angeles. Uber Fresh was the original name for Uber's delivery service, and it's been in operation since August of 2014. After starting in Santa Monica, Uber now also serves Beverly Hills, Westside LA, and some parts of Hollywood. And you guessed it, the 10 minute or less promise is still on the table. Uber Eats is just like Uber X. Instead of picking up uh, customers, we deliver their lunch or dinner. So the secret recipe behind Uber Eats, how about a limited menu? Couple that with the fact that drivers already have the food on board and we're suddenly looking at some pretty efficient meals on wheels. Wired says this select menu is what allows Uber to keep its 10 minute guarantee in such large cities. Rather than waiting for customers to place an order, waiting for the restaurant to make the order, and then battling traffic to deliver the order, Uber drivers pick up batches of orders. Then they drive around as they always do, waiting to make a delivery. Also, Uber's bite out of the Big Apple is a relatively small one. Instead of taking on the whole city at once, it will start by only serving the Manhattan area between 40th and 14th streets. Along with constantly expanding its pseudo-taxi service, Uber has consistently pursued businesses outside its core service. In just the past two years, the San Francisco-based company has launched a food delivery business, convenience store on wheels, bike messenger delivery service, and last but not least, a human-sized breathalyzer. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrus.